Hi, I'm Thomas Whitcomb. I play Rem McCormick in Footloose the Musical with Panic Productions at Simi Valley Cultural Arts Center. And if you want to hear a little bit more about our show, stay tuned. I first fell in love with the theater. I think it started when I was really, really young. Uh, I just used to watch a lot of those old Rodgers and Hammerstein old movie musicals. Uh, those were just always playing at my house for some reason. So I think I got a taste of it when I was really, really young. But um, I still, I, I, I started with the theater the way that most kids I feel like do. You try sports and then you try other things and they, none of them seem to work out. And so my mom just threw me at, uh, at this audition for a community theater play and I did it and, you know, just loved it and didn't look back. So I just found like my kind of community and just continuously uh, was uh, seeking out those opportunities. I think acting uh, went from an interest into an obsession. Um, I feel like it happened really quickly because I, as soon as I did my first play, I was just like, okay, when's, when's the next one? And I just kept doing it. And I did that. Like I started, my first play was when I was like eight and it just like never was like another option <laughs> to do anything else. And it just like went all the way through high school. I was like, yeah, yeah, I'm, I'm going to go to school to be an actor. It's, there's no other choice. So <laughs> it just kind of happened suddenly and didn't turn back. The process I use to bring a character to life, um, I feel like I follow a process similar to many other actors. Um, I know that some actors like follow specific techniques. I don't necessarily follow a certain technique. I kind of uh, take what I've learned throughout doing it and put it all together. I just research the heck out of the role and the show, uh, read the script a million times, uh, just to get a feel for the character and the world of the play. I do research on, uh, for Footloose, for example, I do tons of research on like what it was like to live in the 80s, like in Chicago, but also in a town like Beaumont. Just do as much research as I can so I can kind of understand what the character is dealing with on the day to day. And so I can step into those shoes. And then also just you, you going through rehearsals and just making choices and working with other actors and, and seeing what they bring into the rehearsal room and, and what you can use from what they're giving you uh, for your character. It's just it's an ongoing process uh, throughout that entire time. I think the theater experience is unique for both the actor and the audience in that it's a, it's a shared experience. Um, with things like film and television, like the audience is there, but the actors are not. You're seeing something that's been done a year before you even came to the theater. But um, with an actual theatrical production, um, even though the actors have been rehearsing for however long, um, it's still a shared experience. As much as uh, the audience is getting stuff from uh, the actors on stage, the actors are getting things from the audience. They, there's a shared energy in that. And I think that's pretty profound, uh, getting that two hour time span just to like experience this story together in a way. I think that's what makes it unique. I like musicals, A, because they're just so fun. Um, yeah, I, I just think that uh, it was such, like the, the fact that musicals exist is very interesting to me. The idea of like bringing song and dance into uh, like storytelling. Um, it's such an old tradition, but it's so interesting to me how it, how it came to fruition. I think it's really cool what we can do with music and choreography in order to tell a story. And I think that's why I'm most, like, I'm most interested in, in telling a story dancing for the fun of it and singing for the fun of it is great. But at the end of the day, I care about what story are we telling to this audience. And I think it's uh, the best theatrical productions are the kind where they use um, the music, the vocals, the choreography, as well as the script to um, really push the story forward for the audience. And that's why I like it so much is uh, everything kind of coincides with each other to, to make that story happen. I heard about Panic Productions um, through a, one of those casting sites online uh, for this show specifically. Um, it was backstage.com and I just saw the listing for Footloose and I couldn't uh, make the audition. So I just sent in my reels, my headshot and everything like that. But after I sent all that in, I started to like look up their site and look up like what they had done in the past. And they um, had done such cool shows and had such great people who've gone on to do some really awesome stuff. Um, be a part of them in the past. And uh, so after I saw that, and after they emailed me and had me had me come out for a callback, I was just really excited to to get involved with them. I wanted to be part of Footloose, A, because I that has been one of my favorite movies since I was a child. <laughs> I, I used to watch the Kevin Bacon one uh, from a very young age, um, used to dream about being Kevin Bacon when I was when I grew older. 
there if you go to my instagram there's a picture of me dressed up as ren from the footloose movie for halloween one year yeah i just i really love uh the movie and it's it's near and dear to my heart so i definitely wanted to do that for that reason but also i just think the story the music is awesome and just to get the to dance the choreography michelle elkins giving us is, is a dream so it's just a kind of a triple threat in that just getting to check all those boxes off and getting to play this awesome role so the character I play in Footloose, Rem McCormick, um, he's the lead and he um, he starts off the story living in Chicago with his mom and uh, fresh right off the start of the, uh, the beginning of the play, he uh, finds out his dad has left without a goodbye or anything like that, just kind of flaked on him and his mother. And because of that, they have to uh, move in with uh, his mom's uh, brother and uh, which is in Beaumont. So they move to Beaumont because that's financially what they have to do. And he moves to this town and Ren is a rambunctious teen who likes to like get all his anger out and everything. Like he likes to dance. He likes to just be out there. And he finds he comes to a town that they do the exact opposite of that. In fact, it's against the law. So um, uh, he feels very uh, like uh, held back and restricted. And he's dealing with the, the loss of his dad and the way that he left. And he can't um, really... Um, he can't deal with those feelings in the way that he normally does. And so that kind of puts him as an outsider in this town. So even more, he's getting more things thrown at him and it's just a ton. And he has to figure out um, how does he um, deal with the trauma that he's just been dealt and how does he also simultaneously deal with uh, the environment that's now surrounding him um, and, and spread joy and, and help his friends because they're also dealing with things as well. I think the biggest theme of the musical uh, for me um, is the idea of forgiveness. Um, Barry Pearl, our director, on our uh, first table read of the show, sat us all down and he read us a bit of the director's note of the show. And in the director's note, um, the person who wrote it specifically mentioned, whenever you read the word uh, dance in this show, substitute it in your mind with forgiveness. And I think that's really profound because I, I think it is true. I think a lot of people think of Footloose and it's like, ah, just about a kid who wants to dance in a town that won't let him. But I think that there's a lot more to the story than that. I think it's about um, uh, a kid who's feeling a lot of hurt and pain. Um, and I think it's about a town that also has a lot of hurt connected to it. And it's the idea of like letting go of that burden of, of guilt and, and forgiving, uh, forgiving those who have um, wronged us and forgiving ourselves for holding on to it for far too long and and how do we come back uh, from that pain and how do we move on from it I think that makes it so much more than just a story about people who like to dance I, I think that the music also plays into the theme in that um, yeah it is music that we all know and love let's hear it for the boy holding out for a hero all those Footloose, all those tunes that you you know and love but I think that the way it's written into the story makes those things hit a lot harder um, I think that the the way they're written just makes um, makes the characters. It's not so much that oh, let's just sing them because it's fun to sing them. Let's sing them because um, the character needs to get something out in this moment that like is rep represented through this this number. So yeah, I think it, I think the music is is great, but it's written in in a way that like furthers the story rather than just like hey, here's an '80s pop tune. <laughs> it's dead. I think the thing that I'm most excited for whenever I hit the stage, um, it's obviously super, super fun to do all the the amazing dance numbers and sing all those awesome songs. But I think the, the thing that um, uh, is most important to me and the thing I'm most excited about is honestly like uh, the story and the script that we get to, to get to work with and interacting with the other actors on stage. Again, I, th I think a lot of people believe this is just a singy, dancey musical that's just fun, light and whatever. But um, I think that m highlighting the story and highlighting um, what these characters truly feel through that is what is most interesting to me. I love um, hearing afterwards from people. We've already heard it a couple of times that like, oh, like the, the dancing and singing was amazing. But like I, this scene between you and Bula, it was just so real and, and, and so raw. And I love hearing that because to me, again, I care more about the story than anything else. And um, so when I hear things like that, it, it, it gives a reason as to why it's so fun to, to get up there and dance with other people. Um, yeah, it just makes it all uh, makes it worth it to me. Yeah, our director, Barry Pearl, and our director choreographer, uh, Michelle Elkin, they're awesome. Um, it was really great working with them because they come from such different backgrounds. 
they have such different perspectives on everything. Like Michelle comes from a uh, movement and choreography background, which is so helpful specifically to me because Ren is such a physical character. He's always wanting to be the one dancing and getting up and getting people to move. And so it was really helpful uh, getting that kind of advice and that kind of like notes like that from her. And then Barry comes from a background of acting and it was really helpful, um, as I've said, uh, connecting the tissue from just these songs and dances that are really fun to a very real and authentic character and a story that we're trying to tell. So um, the two different perspectives were really, really helpful when uh, kind of creating this character and, and putting the show together, I think. I believe that the Footloose story is still relevant today. I think it's, that's the reason why is because it, it the basis of the story is a town that's very set in its way and uh, someone new comes in and tries to change that around. Um, I think that's something we deal with um, day in and day out in our country and the world. Um, we have people who are very staunch in the way they uh, the way they believe things. And when people come in with new perspectives, sometimes it's hard to understand those and to to see things from that perspective. And um, but I think it's a good thing that that we're constantly being challenged on the way we think and the way we do things. And uh, so I think that Footloose, um, while in a very, very different uh, way, highlights that those kind of issues. And I think it's a good thing uh, that we're we're showing a story that that I feel is still relevant uh, very much in our time. I think that uh, people will be surprised about um, how much we make the story prominent in this in this musical. Um, again, as I've said multiple times, it's not just your average footloose of great singing, great dancing. It's it's something that's very real. Um, and I think that they'll be surprised at how much the story is as important as the uh, the songs and the dances. But also, I think they'll be surprised at how talented our cast is. We just have a really, really awesome, eclectic cast. And um, I think that'll surprise some people that like we were able to get all these people because it's, it's crazy to me. People should see this production of Footloose because A, it's a ton of fun. Um, it's just a blast. Um, no matter what age, if you remember the old movie, if you don't, like it's just such a great time. I think you'll have an amazing time just getting to see um, the cast up there and just rocking it and just having a ball. Um, I think that it's a nostalgia uh, factor for those who have seen the old movie. I think that you'll see things that um, are that, that'll make you remind you of that time but also things that are like that are new and that can give you a fresh experience. And then uh, again, um, I think that people should come see it because I think it's a story that um, has been told before, but um, is still very relevant today. And uh, I think it'll touch some hearts and, but I also think it'll get you up and dancing. So I think it, I think anybody should come and see it because it kind of gives you everything you need. I think people should get involved, uh, other actors should get involved with Panda Productions because um, what I've seen is that they're able to uh, bring together a really talented group of people, an eclectic group of people, a diverse group of people. Um, I've gotten to meet so many different people um, through this the cast and the crew and the creative team and everybody is so great at what they do and it, it all comes together to make this awesome production happen. So um, I, I'm just excited to see what Panic does next. And I, I would think that any actor would want to have an experience like that, where they get to meet all types of different people and get to to learn things uh, from, from people in all different aspects of the business. It's it's just been great. It's been a great learning opportunity and um, a great opportunity just to, just to meet new people. I think that it's important to support uh, organizations like Panic Productions, because um, I think what theater does specifically is bring new stories that um, we're not used to in our everyday life. I think that um, it's good to be introduced to new ideas and new perspectives. And I think that's what theater does. And I think that's what Panic Production does specifically. So I think more people should come see our shows and and support this production company because it's, it's truly doing um, such great work for the community. Um, bringing new uh, new ideas and new perspectives to a group of people. Um, I think that's what makes us grow. And I think it's such an important thing. Uh, there's one th more thing I want to uh, uh, say about the production. Our band is insane. They're so good. So come for, if you don't want to come for anything else, come for our band because they play the heck out of those 80s tunes. Um, yeah, they're just amazing. And we're so glad we have them. <laughs>
My name is Thomas Whitcomb. I play Ren McCormick in Footloose with Panic Productions. And thank you so much for listening to us talk about this show. It's been such a great experience so far, and it's only going to continue with this run. And um, we would love to see you out here. I think you're going to love the music. You're going to love the dance. But I think what you'll be surprised about is how amazing the story is. You'll be walking out, tapping your toes, but also on your hearts. Thank you guys so much, and we hope to see you there.